Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Fish Food, and welcome back to another Trailblazer League's bossing video. Now this one is going to be all about this area I'm standing in, the God Wars Dungeon. Now in the last Q&A, the devs did confirm that God Wars Dungeon bosses will be instanced, which is very, very good. I think that's going to draw a lot of players to it. But there are a lot of areas that are kind of sort of required in order to do bosses in the God Wars dungeon effectively. So I'm going to basically break down every region and what they offer beneficially to the God Wars and kind of what I think might be the best order that you should do the God Wars depending on if you want to do melee or if you want to do range. Because there's two bosses that are heavily focused on the melee style being Zami and Bandos, Krill and uh, Grador, and then there's Ziliana and Armadil, or Kriara, for the range ones. And so let's break down what each area benefits and what bosses you should do in what order. Okay, so let's start with Asgarnia and the starting regions, because you're going to have to have Asgarnia to even get to God Wars. And we get access to Mistelin and Karamja. So the items that you can get in those areas. With Mistelin, you get an Abyssal Whip. if Because there is a way you can fight Abyssal Demons in M Mistelin. With Karamja, you get access to a Fire Cape and a Amulet of Fury. This is my Blood Fury. I don't have an actual Fury. That's my Fury. And you also get access in Isgarnia to Cerberus. So you could potentially get Primordial Boots and Pagation Boots or Rangers and Dragon Boots as well as those in there. If you can't get any of those, you could probably get some other kind of boot. I don't really know exactly what drops what as far as the metal boots. I'm not an Iron Man, so I've never had to worry about that. But you can get climbing boots, which might not be a bad alternative. And uh, maybe you'll get lucky with some Rangers or even some God Dehyde. God Dehyde might be really important too because obviously you need some sort of protective armor in order to even get there. That represents the gods so that all the minions don't attack you. Moving on to Mauritania, Barrows is going to be very important for you if you choose to go God Wars dungeon route, because Guthans is a good source of healing, as well as you're probably going to want some sort of tanky body or legs, even some carols. I didn't pull my carols out, but you got Arams if you decide you want to uh, use Mage against Bandos or uh, Blood Barrage minions, which would require desert, but we'll get to that in a minute. And you also get access to the Blood Shard, so you could use your Blood Fury. And also Mauritania is home to the Slayer Helmet, or at least the Black Mask, so you could get all of yours on task if you pick certain relics. So that covers the Swamp region. In the Fremnic Isles region, we have a very few, but there's not a whole lot of bossing content that drops unique drops. You have your Ava's device, which you can also get with Mauritania, but you can get the Assembler, with Fremnik, that's why I included it here. You could get your face guard from Basilisk Knights, and you can get all three of your rings. Berserker's Ring and Archer's Ring specifically. I don't really know if there's going to be much use for the Seer's Ring in Leagues, at least it's God Wars, but you might find a use. Maybe some of the relics that you pick will help you decide to use the Seer's Ring instead. The Desert region, I think, is going to be very, very strong if you decide to choose God Wars, because you can... Uh, smith your own darts if you want to, if you choose to uh, select uh, Tyranwin for the blowpipe. Might not be super useful, I think there's a couple of situations where you might want a blowpipe. But you also get access to the Ancient Spellbook, and more importantly, the Mage Training Arena for Bones to Peaches tabs, or even just Bones to Peaches in general, because you can get at least, I think it's what, 30, 32 hit points worth of heals from Peaches every kill. So that could actually stack up to be really huge. And while we're on the subject of the blowpipe, if you choose Tyranwin, you will have access to the blowpipe, as well as scales and the serpentine helm, which would be a good replacement if you don't get a face guard. Plus, the serp helm and the blowpipe can help venom minions, which makes them easier to deal with. You also get access to divine potions and red chin chompas. I don't have any of those in my bank. Because I'm a main account, I don't really need to worry about red chins. But you can catch red chins after Song of the Elves, which is auto-completed when you select tier 1 anyway. As far as Kandarin goes, because you already have Asgarnia, they confirm that you need because Kandarin and Asgarnia for piety. But you also have access to a fighter torso for Krill and Bandos. You can use Zenite Jewelry because we have access to Karamja for Furies, or for Onyxes, and again, Red Chinchampas. 
And last but not least, we have The Wilderness. I originally wasn't going to include it because I didn't think it really had that much to offer. And then I realized I had Black Chins in my bank. And so I realized Black Chins are going to be very, very huge for Criara. It's not impossible without Red Chin or Black Chins because Iron Men do it with Red Chins all the time. At least Hardcores. And you have access to the Imbued God Capes. So you could use the two. Uh, one, you can get any God item you want at will. And two, if you decide to pick the desert and use Blood Barrage, it might make your spells a little stronger. You might not use it. It's just going to depend on Relics once again. Okay, so now that we've talked about possible gear that you can get from each region, let's talk about what you should do first. Now, again, I said you could do melee route or range route. I don't think where you start, as far as that goes, has any difference whatsoever. However, if you decide you want to go melee you definitely should do zami first for the simple reason that you could get a zami spear you could get the hilt which i don't know if that's going to be super useful at mandos but it might be might even be useful at sarah who knows but once you get your zami spear if you have a uh, candor unlocked you could go turn it into a hosta or you could just use a spear if you don't plan on getting Candor in for the Hosta, it might not even be worth doing Zami at all, unless you're going for a Toxic Staff or whatever. That's my personal take on it. As far as Bandos goes, you could probably do it with a Whip. I think it's completely doable with a Whip and a Defender. Uh, it's also going to depend on Relics and stuff. You might you might want a Shield. I don't know. I didn't include Crystal Shield for uh, Tyrion one. That's another big benefit as well. Now, for the ranged approach, you're definitely going to want to do Commander Zilliana first for that Armadil crossbow. And maybe you'll get a hilt on the way there. Who knows? But Criara with a rune crossbow does not sound like any sort of fun. In fact, I, I don't even know if it's going to be possible. It, it, it might be. If you have chins, it's where you do most of your damage. Now, as far as areas go, like what I would pick personally... If, I, if my goal was strictly God Wars Dungeon, I think you have a very, very strong case for Terranwyn and the Desert, for Ancients and the Blowpipe. I think that is going to be, hands down, completely huge. However, getting gear might be a little bit more difficult. If you decide, or like a second best option, I would probably take Kandarin and Mauritania, because Barrow's gear and Zenite jewelry is going to be pretty big too. Now, if you don't care about Barrow's gear, you could go... Uh, Fremnik as well. Personally, I think at this point I'm choosing Fremnik, Kandarin, and of course Asgarnia. So I will show you what I think a gear setup for that region combination would look like, and then you can use what I choose to kind of sort of form your own strategy, kind of make upgrades here and there where you can. Okay, so again, I'm choosing Fremnik, Asgarnia, and Kandarin, so more than likely this is going to be a gear setup that I would consider. Obviously, I'd probably change things depending on what I get. Maybe I won't have Pegasian boots. Maybe I'll only have God Dehyde boots. Maybe I won't have anything. It's important that at least you have some sort of Ceridoman and Zamorak item, at least at first. If it's just a Monk Road top and a Zamorak bo Road bottom or some combination, then you could use like maybe Black Dehyde might be possible. Again, it's all going to depend on relics. As far as gear goes, I'm going to go with Rune Gloves because I think based on my... Uh, Zone choices, that'll be the best I can get. Uh, suffering, I don't know if I'll do Suffering or Archer's Ring. It'll depend on Relics and Defense. Book of Law, if I can finish it. If not, probably just use an Obby Shield. Of course, the Anguish, the Assembler, because knocking out 50 Vorkath kills should be doable. And then just basically whatever high-tier gear you can even get. Now, if you decide to go back to Ceridoman, after you've already done Criara, possibly you'll have full Armadil. So... That is a possibility. Now, if I were to go to Criara, I would only change one thing. I would change the fact that I now have an Armadil crossbow now instead of a Rune crossbow. I will probably be bringing Lunar Spells for... I don't know if Vengeance is going to really do too much. Uh, Cure Me won't. So it might even just be better to bring Alx for Ceridoman. But for Criara, I think Vengeance would be very, very helpful because she does smack you around a lot with that magic attack. And as far as gear goes for Krill and Bandos, uh, this is probably what I'd be riding with mostly. Uh, the Nezzy face guard, a whip until you get a Hasta, if you can, again, acquire one. Uh, Prams or Dragon Boots, the Berserker's Ring, 
the defender or a shield if you're taking too much damage. Now, it might be worth taking Ceridum and Dehyde or any sort of Dehyde. Zami would be like perfect best case scenario. Just so that you don't take a too much of mage dip damage. In this setup, I don't think I have very good mage defense at all. Let me even look. Uh, magic bonus is one. So that would probably not be super great. But I guess if we change it up, it would probably increase our magic to 61. It's not bad. It's going to lower your max hit quite a bit, though, I think. Actually, no, there's no difference in strength bonus. That's going to be like a personal call. And then, of course, once you get to uh, the Zamorak Hasta, you can choose your uh, Hasta instead and probably change nothing else. And then, of course, the Amulet of Fury would probably be better than a Torture, depending on defense. In fact, I think that's going to change your magic defense by quite a bit. So that's kind of going to be a personal call. So I hope this, this guide has helped you make a decision on how you want to approach God of Wars, if that is what you're choosing to do some possible unlocks. I don't think the setup that I'm going for or the regions I'm picking are specifically good for God of Wars, but God of Wars is not my main goal. I cho chose my regions based on content I want to do. If you just want to do God of Wars, again, I think Desert and uh, Mauritania are probably going to be better options for you or even Desert and uh, Tyranwyn. Just going to personal preference that's the best part about leagues everybody's going to have a different experience everybody's going to have different gear and that's that's what's going to make leagues so much fun so if you guys have any suggestions on more guides you want me to do let me know down in the comments below if you have any improvements to any of this anything i missed go ahead and let me know there as well but thank you guys very much for watching and before you clock out make sure you like comment subscribe and even hit that bell icon if you want a little bit of overtime but for now, I'm Fish Food signing off, and I will see you all next time.